morning, my beautiful friends. How are you doing today? It's Patty Dooley with Tupperware again. I hope you're being blessed as well. Uh, today we are talking about the breakfast maker. Do you wish you had time in our busy lives to do a really good breakfast without having to stop at a convenience store to buy one? Well, just stay tuned. We are fixing to show you how you can do that. So stay right here. Okay, so today we are talking about the breakfast maker. We've been talking about the pasta cooker and the rice cooker or makers as they are so called named and then the breakfast maker because of the sale that we're having right now but I really wanted to show you the versatility of the breakfast maker. This thing, ugh, I can't say enough about it because it does so many things. Uh, it's meant to cook eggs and french toast and stuff in the microwave in just a matter of minutes. So if you're a busy working, you got kids at home, you know, you got kids to go to school, you got all that stuff that happens in our daily lives, and you're thinking, how can I get something else other than cereal in my kids? Well, you can try the breakfast maker. The reason I say that is because I had teenagers once in school, <laughs> not anymore, but they would always want, what can I eat before school? You know, everybody's in a hurry. I said, well, we've got the breakfast maker. Make you some eggs or French toast. Two minutes, you're done. Completely done. So in the breakfast maker, it has comes with these two little round containers you see here. And these are for making poached eggs. Now there is a shiny, glossy part right here and then a muted part right there. You're going to put about three tablespoons of water in here and then put your egg in. And then put the top on and cook in the microwave to the desired doneness that you like your poached egg. And then less than a minute, maybe a minute and ten seconds, you have a poached egg and it's ready to go. You can make egg McMuffins, egg sandwiches, eggs and toast, whatever you want to do with that. Uh, you can. I mean, on my VIP group, I've shared videos of using the breakfast maker and making egg McMuffins to put in the freezer and grab for another day. So we're going to do the poached eggs, then we're going to do a quick omelet, and the omelets can be whatever you want in them, whatever. And then we're going to do some French toast using leftover buns. I can tell you the leftover buns are perfect if you got hot dogs or hamburger or French bread or anything, but we will talk about that in a minute. So today we're going to do three different things in the breakfast maker and you're going to be watching this real time so let's get started <laughs> let me put you down here where you can see a little better of what I'm doing so like I said we are going to do poached eggs in this one right here and the first thing we want to do is put three tablespoons of water in each one or up to that little line which is about three tablespoons there I'm just going to pour that in there instead of trying to measure it. There we go. And then we're going to take our eggs, crack it, and then just pour it into the breakfast maker with the water. Get my towel here. and that's all we have to do so from here I'm going to put this top on just like this now keep in mind it does not latch it does not seal it just sets on there so you're going to want to hold it with both hands on both underneath and the top we're going to put this in the microwave for about 50 seconds and we're going to check it there so stay right there I'm walking right back hang on Okay, so we have that one going, and we'll check that in just a few seconds. The next one we're going to work on is a uh, French toast. Do it however you want. We have used uh, cinnamon bread, muffin, uh, like the English muffins, anything that you want to do, French bread, all of that we have used to make our French toast with. 
you can use let me bring this up here a little bit you can use coffee creamer for flavor just however you want to do your French toast it's super simple and easy but the first thing we're going to do is take our bun right here and we're just going to take and just pull it off in pieces drop it down in there now if you're wanting a bigger piece of French toast and you hear the eggs is done then you can do that you can add you know a little bit more bread or however much bread you want usually I do about a bun and a half for myself with leftover buns and then you're gonna take your eggs I've got two eggs Now, like I said, if you like creamer in yours, the flavored creamers, by all means, do that. Oh, I got a little piece of egg. There we go. Eggshell in there. You can do that. You can use flavored creamers. You can use half and half. You can use milk. You can use whatever you want. We're going to put a splash of milk in here. And we're going to take some cinnamon, whatever you like in your French toast. Well, my fingernails have grown and it's hard for me to get this top off without snapping a nail. There we go. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in there and then we're going to whisk this around. Get it all mixed up real, real good. Now if you're doing a large family, each person can have their breakfast maker. You can do a bunch of eggs in the Power Chef, mix them all up with some milk, and then divide it out over each breakfast maker for, you know, their bread and stuff in it with whatever bread they want. Like I said, it's really good with the, use the cinnamon raisin bread. Oh, that is amazing. So all we're going to do is take, and you see I'm not putting any oil or anything in these. Uh, we're just going to pour this over just like this. And then I just want to mix that bread around into that egg. Just like this. Then we're going to put the top on and we're going to cook this for about a minute and 10 seconds and that's it. So let me go get the other egg and put this in. So here we go with the poached eggs. Remember to always open it away from you. There is still a little bit of steam. I'm going to put a plate over here. I'm going to try to lift this out where you can see it. The egg is cooked in there. It depends on the amount of time. See this yolk is uh, still runny. It depends on the amount of time that you put it in there. Do you want soft boiled? Do you want hard boiled? How do you like your egg? Personally, I can't eat eggs anymore. Uh, but I, when I used to eat eggs, I used to love the yolk runny to put my toast in. From here, you can use English muffins and things to make uh, breakfast sandwiches. You could uh, do ham with this, whatever. But this is like 50 seconds, the eggs were done. So let's put these off into the plate. And now the, uh, I'm going to drain this water off because my spoon is just a little bit too wide for that. So we'll just drain the water off. And then we're just going to slide that egg right onto the plate. I should have had uh, some paper towel on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna get that egg out of there. There we go. And then there is that poached egg right there.
like I said, depending on the amount of time that you put it in there, you can do it up to one minute or so in there, you know, another 10, 10 20 seconds and get hard boiled eggs. But this one, there we go. <laughs> this one has still got a runny yolk, so you probably might want to cook that a little bit longer. But if you like that, perfect. And then this one is done right here. So we are going to set these aside and then go get our French toast. We had it in there one minute and ten seconds. So here we go. We just want to be careful with the steam. I'm going to get another plate. And right there is our French toast super easy to do smells really good you can smell the cinnamon oh, it smells really good and I think my other spoon we'll try this little one because we're just gonna let that just slide right out like that and you can see I did not put any oil any butter or anything so you could top that with butter whatever you like some syrup some fresh fruit whatever you like on your french toast and there it's done a minute and ten seconds that's all it took for our breakfast so the last one we're going to make here happens to be more like a omelet and I am going to use my power chef here now if you've seen me use this before you know all about it it has other pieces that go to it a paddle and a funnel and everything I'm just using the paddle today for this uh, video but to this I'm going to add some onion bell pepper some cherry tomatoes some uh, mushrooms a little bit of lunch meat I already have some stuff chopped up in here so I'm going to put this right in there how you like it all depends on you you can add spinach on you can do spinach omelets you can do all kinds of omelets a hash brown omelet but if you want to know more about doing other omelets and using the breakfast maker in other ways uh, ask me about my uh, VIP group for customers and people that want to learn more about Tupperware and I'll be glad to uh, get you in my group but not other consultants I'm sorry <laughs> now I'm just adding a little bit of seasoning some Mrs. Dash in here flavor it however you want to flavor it just a little bit of salt remember you can salt it a little you can add but you cannot take away from so be sure to always remember that and then I'm gonna add three eggs and I didn't crack that one enough there we go crack that one in My husband normally eats a four egg omelet and he likes the Spanish omelets. Now you can add cheese and stuff like that in there too. It's all it depends on your taste. So you see I have it everything in the power chef and we are just gonna pull it till we chop stuff down and combine it with the egg. And this particular one we are going to do on some reduced power uh, mainly because you have tomatoes and stuff in here and mushrooms you want them to cook a little bit longer so that way this gives them more time whenever you turn the power down on your power on your microwave it's like I've said before it's like uh, turning the knob on your stove to reduce the power so we have all this mixed up and we're going to pour that off into here. No oil, no nothing. 
just the egg, the chopped up vegetables. And we're going to put the top on, but we're going to reduce the power down to 70%. And then we're going to cook it for about four minutes. And then we'll check it there. So let me go put this in. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now we will clean up a little bit of our stuff here while that egg is cooking and just talk a little bit more about the power chef the, about the breakfast maker <laughs> I'll get it straight here okay so with this like I said you can cook all sorts of things you can do hash browns in here some of the things that I have done on my VIP group is we have done brownies in here I cook cornbread in here I've made cakes in here. Uh, we make, uh, it's a brownie made with two packages of hot chocolate mix, hot cocoa mix. Some, two packages of that, a little bit of flour, a little bit of oil and stuff, and you are good to go. And it is like super, super rich. Um, let's see, my daughter just made a brownie with like a mounds bar type brownie. I mean, it just, oh, I, she would, she didn't make it here. She made it at her house. I got pictures. But it is just amazing just looking at it. It looked like 50 pounds just sitting there waiting for you when you eat it. <laughs> but you could do baked potatoes. You could do all sorts of things in the breakfast maker. So, like I said, it makes it super fast and easy for breakfast in the morning. So, once again, these are on sale this month until July... 8th I believe it is so if you're watching this video at a later time it's going to be with the pasta cooker and the rice cooker to which um, I made a video using this yesterday and I may put the pictures at the end of this video but I put with mine I made a fish tilapia and then I cooked it in my micro pro grill, then my fish over rice with some homemade salsa. And oh my god, was that ever good. And then for my daughter and my husband, I cooked pasta in here, and then I took shrimp, and then we had I made them some homemade Alfredo sauce. And I did that, and I'll put a picture of that on the end of the video as well, using the pasta cooker. So all of these are on sale. Uh, so like I said, or while supplies last until July 8th. And these are amazing products. They help you from keeping uh, heating up your house, having to put the stove on, especially in the summertime in Texas. It is like super hot here. <laughs> so if I don't have to turn my stove on, if I and I never turn my oven on in the summertime, very, very rarely do I ever turn the oven on. But I do all microwave cooking at my house, and we don't miss a beat. We even have breads. We have everything. We have desserts. We have cakes. We have roast. We have, well, I, I say roast. We have a pork, what, whatever. We do not miss a beat, not even using the stove, because I use the Tupperware products to cook everything in. So we are good to go. So if you ever wondered about that, contact me, and I'll let you know how we do things. And talking about uh, Tupperware, just before this egg gets this omelet gets done, uh, Tupperware has a thing going right now for sign up until the end of August for just fifteen dollars. That's it, fifteen dollars. That gets you a three months uh, thing on your website. It doesn't get you a kit, but it gets you in the door and able to start doing Tupperware, just like I'm doing right here, just showing people, just talking to people, just having fun. So if you're interested in that, let me know, and I'll be glad to talk with you. Uh, how much longer we got? Just a couple of seconds on this egg. Look what all I could do in four or five minutes, however long we cooked this. <laughs> so let me go get that out now. And here we go. Once again, steam. You don't want to burn yourself or anybody else. We're going to lift that top. Woo! 
my word, look at that. Look at that. It's all, oh, oh god. I wish I could eat eggs because this smells like really, really good. <laughs> really good. Let me get my little spatula over here. And you see, I did not put any oil or butter or anything like that. So if you are having to uh, watch your diet, you know, you can't have all of that stuff. Super uh, way to be able to do this right here. I have got to... This thing is like big because when we do cinnamon buns in here or other uh, desserts like the uh, brownie stuff, we cut them in half. There we go. There's that. So here is an omelet that we've done. Everything chopped up in there. You could cook you some bacon. You can put crumble off in here. You could do some um, sausage in here. Do some cheese on top. But it is done. What did we cook that for? Like four or five minutes? I don't remember. <laughs> but we cooked this. Well, you see how fast it got cooked? We've done poached eggs right here. And we've done some French toast right there. And, and we've only been on here maybe... 20 minutes talking about it maybe that's three meals right there done in 20 minutes complete so if you want to know more about the the breakfast maker please feel free to get with me comment below and I'll be glad to talk to you about any one of these products and uh, like I said wait till the end of the video and you'll see uh, the whole set on sale there on the, the end of the video so uh, be blessed, and I will talk to you soon, and if you have questions, just let me know. Oh, and don't forget, like, share, and subscribe uh, to my videos, and then hit that uh, notification bell so you get notification every time I upload a video. So this is all for this week, guys. I'm going to do a video next week, so I'm not going to have anything coming out this Friday. So I covered everything for the breakfast maker, the rice cooker, and the pasta cooker for this sale right now. So next week we will have another recipe coming out at you. So you be blessed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.